While browsing the internet a week prior to making this video, I find out this battery was available for significantly less than the competitor. This is not a sponsor video, I bought two of those batteries with my own money. The current price for those batteries are $5.99 each. I'm not sure how long they will keep the price that low, so if you're interested in getting this battery, I would appreciate it if you use my link to get 5% off and also make a small commission. This is a 51.2 volt 100 amp hour server rack battery. They also have a 100 amp hour wall mounted battery. At the time of the video, the wall mounted battery is $600. They recently added a 314 amp hour wall mounted battery. At the time of the video, it's on sale for $1,600. The battery is protected with foam padding on both sides that give it a clearance of an inch and a quarter, keeping it safe during transportation. There is also extra cardboard in the corner to keep the edge of the backs from crushing during transition. Both of my boxes were damaged at the bottom, but there seemed to be very little damage to the battery. You can see there's a minor scrape, there's no dent. I was skeptical because they were shipped via FedEx ground, but I was really surprised how well the packaging held up during the transition. And I guess that's how they can give you free shipping with those batteries. You get plastic cover for the battery terminal and there's a DC switch, a power on button, you get a reset, the dip switch, main contact, multiple OS485 can and OS232. Let's flip the breaker and turn it on. Everything seems to be working as it should. Let's turn it off and open it to see how the inside of this battery look. I just pull off the cover and I am impressed with the quality of this battery. They are using buzz bar. They must be custom buzz bar and they have heat shrink wrap on top of it. Same thing for the negative battery. I was not expecting for it to have buzz bar at this price point and it looked like it's also a custom BMS. There's a temperature sensor on the positive terminal, another temperature sensor at the negative terminal. The bus bar link the battery terminal together, linking everything together continuously. I think those bus bar are a top pick for me and this battery. Now let's take a look at the battery cell. This is the only downside I see in this battery. I wish they were bolted instead of welded, but I guess that's how they can bring the price down. Because if one cell go bad, I could easily replace it if it were bolted down but welded, it's a lot harder to do. I look up those battery cells and it looks like they are made by BYD. There are two additional sensors in the battery, one closer to the back and one closer to the middle. Even the BMS wire that go to individual cell is neatly packed inside of a plastic tube, keeping it protected from everything else. Same thing from the other side. Overall, I am really happy with the quality of this battery. If the performance is as good as it looks on the inside, this battery will be the best bang for your buck. For now, I'm just gonna add those batteries to my system and see how well they will perform. I hope this video was informative. If you are planning to purchase those batteries, I would appreciate it if you use my link to get 5% off and I also make a small commission. If you like this video, you might also enjoy the recommended videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. See you in the next video.